It's a cute couple thing. That's a cute couple cliche, but I like it. <laughs> I furrow my brows a little irate. Did she seriously think I was trying to push all the work on her? I tried to be considerate, and all I got was yelled at. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I mean, you should probably figure it out. Where we're going to shoot, right? Victoria hums in agreement at my words, seemingly placated for now. That's right. Since the focus is Arcadia Bay, it shouldn't be hard to find a suitable spot. Are you saying you know, <laughs> you know, good places to shoot? Judge. Sh She's in photography class. She's <laughs> shooting all here. Shoot as in a gun or a camera, Max. <laughs> Goddamn gun syringe. <laughs> <laughs> She pauses and taps her fingers against the table. Of course, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to give you a chance to prove yourself. I can't help but snort a little, and Victoria shuts her eyes at that, annoyed again. At least, that's what it looks like, but then she continues easily. As I was saying, I'd like to hear your opinion on the matter. Victoria's gaze zeroes in on me, and I instantly feel more than a little awkward underneath her judgmental eyes makes me more nervous than it should, and I swallow dryly and reach for my coffee. Don't do that. You're gonna be more nervous with the coffee, dude. Don't do it. In all actuality, I don't really know if I'm good enough for this. The fact that Victoria is asking my opinion is more than a bit intimidating. I could think of a few, but I'm not sure they're... Don't. I wouldn't ask you your opinion if I didn't think you were somewhat competent. Oh, okay. Victoria huffs and I rub the back of my neck. Is that supposed to be a compliment? So... I've got something in mind too, fortunately for you. She's like our Edgeworth, and we're like the gumshoe. Sure. <laughs> if <laughs> Edgeworth like... and gumshoe were wanting to fuck. I don't know. I read a lot of entry- I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but like, she's like brutally honest with us, and she's like, you know... She's, like, insulting, but somehow complimenting us at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> really? Victoria purses her lips, resting her elbow on the table and looking over me again. Yes, I do. Clean out those hipster ears of yours and you won't have to ask me dumb questions like that ever again. There's another pause and then Victoria's looking out the window again, waving me off. Finish your food already, and then tell me what you want to do. It'd be a shame if I didn't give your amateur tastes a chance. I'm so surprised that she's letting me take the reins that I almost do forget I have food in front of me, and I take the opportunity to nosh! Nosh, nosh, nosh! Nosh, nosh. I also take the opportunity to think hard about my decision. There's no way I'm going to argue about this. This isn't a chance that comes often. It might be a little bad, but I kind of expected her to take complete charge. So, spit it out already. Well, we know we're gonna go to the lighthouse no matter what we decide. But I wanna know where she's gonna take us. Like, is she gonna take us to the makeup store or what? What? <laughs> I just wanna go where she wants to go because we all know we're gonna end up at the lighthouse with Max. You already know that? Well, I assume that, like, well, that's where she would take everybody else if we decided. Well, we've never been there before. It's true. But then again, where will we go with her? Will we go to her fancy mansion place? But also, she asks us our opinion. And it's true, that's why I'm like, I want to know where you want to go, but she wants to know our opinion. She wants to know where we want to go. She wants us to decide. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna step up. I know where we're going. I know. But I believe it's the lighthouse. <laughs> um, I think I know where we could go. You think? I know where we could go. Victoria okay? sips at her coffee impatiently and a wipe on my mouth with a ma with a napkin. I just want to pick up my coffee and like. I backtrack a little, frowning. No, I know. Okay. That's what I thought. Aww, Where are we going? This is actually cute. She's like, 
almost driving you to be more confident. You'll see! So let's be more confident! <laughs> yeah, let's just make our choices. No! No thinking! <laughs> <laughs> no thinking! Confidence! YOLO! Confidence. YOLO STRAT! <laughs> I've got the perfect place to take Victoria for this. Hopefully she doesn't find a way to chew me out anyways. Da 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 da! Getting into Victoria's- I mean, uh, no, no, no. Wow. <laughs> Skirting into Victoria's expensive car after leaving the diner was stressful enough. She has an expensive car. And it didn't really help that as soon as I sat down, she snapped at me for the directions, wasting no time at all. Girl, calm down. I didn't stop her from turning on the radio. At first I thought it was some kind of attempt to drown me out. But she kept her trashy party music at a pretty decent level. Which was kind of nice. So she's cared enough to listen to me. It's your time to shine, Max. It's not every day you get to order Victoria around. Victoria. <laughs> well, that's what I thought. But I just kept my voice as calm as I could in the face of Victoria's apparent displeasure and nonchalance. We make it in no time. Uh, but, but, what? Mm -hmm. What happened? What? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I'm like, what happened? <laughs> when you do that, it doesn't. It goes. I don't know what you see, but it goes off screen for me. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, don't worry, dude. I was just like, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Like demons. I'm not. <laughs> we make it in no time at all, due to the lack of traffic. Not that there's usually a traffic, it's sad to say, but Arcadia Bay is kind of like a ghost town these days, because you're kind of like freaking an anchovy city. Anchovy no one cares. city. You know, it just smells like fish, and no one wants to go there. Yes. <laughs> Sardines. Sardines. Before I came back to Blackwell, it used to be lively. Or at least from what I remember from the days William took us around town and Chloe and I started sword fights in the front of the two whales. Well, you were kids. But I don't remember. The thought of it is a little depressing because well, William's dead! <laughs> Which is exactly why I picked this spot. Today I thought if we were going to shoot anywhere, it should be somewhere vibrant. You know, for some reason, I thought this is where Victoria might take us. Mm. Somewhere with a little more life for Victoria's sake, at least. She's gonna be happy. I can handle nature, but I don't think I've ever seen Victoria willingly shoot at a tree or a squirrel. People are probably more her thing. Yeah, I was wondering what her like style would be. Caulfield? 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 Max? Bueller? Bueller? <laughs> My train of thought is broken again by Victoria's demanding tone. It's edged with annoyance, violence. Edged with violence. Edged with <laughs> violence. She's gonna beat us. <laughs> it takes me a second to realize that she's already parked the car. Where are we? Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I I saw now. As if you weren't inherently obvious, Jesus fucking Christ, Max. Time fuck you. <laughs> I expect her to keep going about it, on about it. And so I frown and open my mouth to stop her. But before I do, she's already getting up and throwing open the door. She doesn't want to waste time, girl. This is important. This is it, right? You didn't zone and give me the wrong directions, did you? I, I huffed through my nose, scratching sheepishly at the back of my neck. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. Now, Victoria, this is it! Victoria gives me a look and then gets out of the car. I unbuckle my seatbelt quickly, fumble with my camera bag for a moment, and follow her. She doesn't like it here. As soon as I'm out of the car, the scent, up and the scent in the air hits me really hard. A sharp contrast with the heavily perfumed scent from Victoria's car. But I smell like fish. I so My nose is filled with the salty tang of the ocean. And my ears are filled with the idle chatter of people and the patter of their footsteps against the wooden boardwalk floor. 
I quickly focus on Victoria instead of my on the cloudy blue sky. I see her with her arms crossed watching the people's mill about. We're gonna get like a really indie shot here. Good. There's something about her I can't quite place. You know, like boards and skateboards and stuff like that. It's all the beach area. Well, it almost looks like she's not even breathing. I see her exhale softly. And I wonder if I was right. She's a vampire. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm like, what? Like, what? I blink at the comment, unsure of how I should take it. There's something pensive in her tone. And then she purses her lips. She's not used to downtown. She's rich. Nothing. I just expected you to bring me somewhere else. I did too. You did? <laughs> With your taste, I thought you'd bring me somewhere bland. Fuck you! <laughs> Was that another compliment hidden by an insult? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. I have to turn my head away to hide my amusement. I think I know what she's getting at. This is nicer than she thought it'd be. <laughs> I generally thought the lighthouse, okay? Beat you down. <laughs> So lighthouse. She got locked. Back to the <laughs> bonus photo unlocked, by the way. Like the lighthouse. Victoria furrows her brows and then manages a soft scoff. Please tell me you're joking. The lighthouse provides an amazing view of this hick town. There's more fucking potential there than your usual chance at winning. But that's not really a hard thing to surpass. Ouch! I knew I couldn't be entirely right, but I didn't expect that sort of response from her. I think I just managed to lower her opinion of me even further. That's excellent. Okay. Anyways, I guess the park would be the most boring place because parks like a typical place to take pictures, and the junkyard would still be cool either way. But yeah. she would probably hate it. But I don't know why she would expect us to take her to a chunker. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, I think it would probably have been the park. And the park would have been traditionally boring. Not just be too traditional. I, he I hesitate a little. And I go to walk around the car to join Victoria. Since she doesn't seem like she's up to moving. She's a vampire, dude. You're killing her in the sun. Victoria's eyes are on me as I do. So... And I gesture vaguely to the boardwalk. Let's go, girl. We should walk around. I guess go pet an area. Clearly. Clearly. She says that as if I were the one holding us up and not her. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> as probably as ever, she starts walking ahead of me and I follow after her like her little Yorkshire Terrier. Before she leaves me behind. <laughs> Victoria's always walking with purpose. Whether or not she's actually got a reason to. Just respectable. I wouldn't be surprised if she does have a reason. Victoria looks like she's so busy all the time. <laughs> she looks busy. <laughs> she's probably not actually ever busy. <laughs> and she even makes buying from the vending machine seem like such an important event. This isn't helping me out at all, though, because Victoria's got a few inches of height over me, making it a little harder to keep up with her long strides. Slow down, tall person. I think maybe Victoria just presses her time really, like, she considers her time very important, so everything is important. Because she gotta get through it, get done, and get to the next thing. Probably. Does that mean you actually like it? Picked it out just for you! Max, can you not? <laughs> You're salivating over my cashmere sweater. What? <laughs> <laughs> my shoes are covered in droll coffee ale. I have you! <laughs> the breath comes out in a little pant. And that seems to bring Victoria's attention over to my attempt to match her pace. She slows down a little, waiting for me. At least I think she is. I don't spend a lot of time thinking about it. 
just step in beside her and walk in with much more ease. It's acceptable, surprisingly. Surprisingly. <laughs> surprisingly? What? <laughs> Victoria frowns at the little groan that rolls off my tongue, and I bite my tongue to stifle anything else that comes out. <laughs> It's a little frustrated. I was really tempted to do a groan. <laughs> it's a little frustrating, really. Uh, uh, <laughs> Just be like, eh. mild sounds of annoyance. <laughs> Victoria can't act as standoff as at Victoria can act as standoff as she likes. But I'm still going to get into her pants. I mean, but I'd like a little credit. <laughs> All right, chill. I meant to say it's uh, nice, okay? Right, kind of, but not really. I'm just saying nice things to make you feel better. <laughs> oh, the way Victoria says that is surprisingly hesitant. I find myself staring at her in mild disbelief. She said something nice. She's gonna die. <laughs> Her eyes lock onto mine for just a split second, and I hold my breath at the gaze. Oh my gosh, she's hot! Oh my gosh, she's hot! I never realized this! <laughs> she breaks it, and I'm able to breathe again. Wow! That was me. Wow! Wow! Wow, Victoria! <laughs> Damn, Victoria, back at a gee! <laughs> that was new. That was nice. That was nice. This is nice. <laughs> Thanks! Don't mention it? Seriously, never mention it. <laughs> I don't anybody knowing that I hung out with the blues. Anybody noticing you? Well, she should be wearing like shades and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's not out with masks. <laughs> the edge slips back into her voice as if it never happened in the first place. I don't know whether or not to be. not. Or not, I'm disappointed or not. Whether, whether or not, or not I'm, I'm disappointed, disappointed or, not. or not. I thought it was gonna be. A, it should be whether or not to be disappointed or not. Whether or not <laughs> I'm disappointed or not. I'm really confused. <laughs> you said you had a reason. My brain is all jumbled. <laughs> oh yeah. I like birds. <laughs> so I like birds and the sea and the fish. <laughs> I love the birds! Seagulls are beautiful, I don't you the think? sky is great! She, like, pulls out a hundred pictures of seagulls. Victoria, <laughs> look at my seagull collection! <laughs> Would you like to see all of them? I think this one's name is Jimmy. I have a feather from every single one! <laughs> Victoria's like, oh. And Max takes out a scrapbook full of pigeon feathers. <laughs> She's like, those aren't seagull feathers. And Max is like, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you! Sniff them! <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I can see her doing that. <laughs> She's kind of crazy. I definitely know why I picked the boardwalk. Not only is it gorgeous, or that the atmosphere is calming, but it also feels like birds. I mean, it, it brings... Like birds <laughs> BIRDS! <laughs> it brings life back into Arcadia Bay. Nothing feels stagnant here. Not with families trying to hold back their kids from daring, darting into the water with the sharks getting eaten and ripped to shred- I mean, the, the shops they can find or couples relaxing as they watch the bay. In addition to that, I thought Victoria would appreciate the variety of models here. There's so many figures, so much to point the camera at. Look at that chubby child. Look at him with his ice cream. <laughs> Take a picture. It's so fluffy. <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> I thought you'd like it. You like it? <laughs> That's why I asked, I guess. Do you like it? Do you, do you like it? Do you like it? <laughs> All of a sudden, Victoria stops walking. And I have to stop before I walk ahead of her. I look at her, tilting my head a little. She's like, you were thinking of what I was liking? <laughs> That's really nice. <laughs> Why are you being nice? <laughs> Why are you being nice to me? I don't like it. 
<laughs> She's like freaking fine. I just don't understand! <laughs> Victoria's giving me the dubious look, and she crosses her arms. Oh man, what did I do to deserve her almighty wrath this time? Ah. You thought I'd like it? Why the hell would you care about that? <laughs>